Okay, it's uh, Tuesday, and this is, well, it's pre-recorded, but this video is going to go straight up after I record it, rather than a week or two after it's been recorded does it show up on YouTube. The reason for this is very simple. Last night, I received a message, just as I was leaving for work, uh, asking me if I would review a particular whiskey. Now, the whiskey here is called the... Second edition BC Liquor Store Canadian Whiskey. Um, the reason I'm doing this today is because this is a limited edition. Uh, it's uh, not going to be available for all that long. And what would be the point of doing a whiskey video about it when you can't get any? And uh, basically someone was asking me to review it because they're, uh, they're on the fence about buying it. And I thought, oh, uh, well, you shouldn't be on the fence for very long because according to the website, there's only three bottles left in the Victoria area today, uh, meaning that all the others that were shipped here have been sold out. There are others in other parts of the uh, uh, province of British Columbia, but uh, if you're living in Victoria, there's only one store that will still have any left. And I could tell you if you uh, ask me in a comment, however, if you rush on down there, they might be gone. Anyways, this is the second edition BC Liquor Store Canadian Whiskey, 17 year old. Um, it's a limited edition in 20, 2017, small batch distilled, age 17 years, 45% alcohol by volume, 750 mils. Uh, tasting notes, 17-year-old three-grain whiskey married with rare 1987 single cask Canadian whiskey to create the smooth, richly flavored whiskey product of Canada. Now there's a little blurb on the back here. This is, of course, a sourced spirit. Uh, it doesn't say where... Uh, what distillery it's from, but I have a good idea. If it's from the same one as the uh, last, as, as their 95 year anniversary special edition was, I know, I'm pretty sure where that one came from. And this one probably comes from the same supplier, seeing as it has the same shaped bottle and it probably has the same cork. I'll find out really soon. Um, actually, it's 17 years old, right? Maybe I should pour it first and then uh, do some babbling. And, oh yeah, it has the same wood topped plasticky cork. It did a righteous pop. This heavy bottle would be good for an infinity bottle too. Okay, now that we've got it poured, I can tell you what it says on the back here. It's not that much, really. Um, this richly balanced 17-year-old Canadian whiskey was created with three grains. Corn for subtle sweetness. That's probably the base. Uh, wheat for silky smooth texture. And rye for spicy characteristics and complexity. Then a touch of an amazing 30-year-old Canadian whiskey was added to the blend to complete this limited edition whiskey. Uh, and it says, distilled by 558L-1 and prepared for BC Liquor Stores, Vancouver, BC. So I'm guessing... Oh, we'll see. We'll see. It's, it seems to have a similar formula to the Union 52. However, it's not from the same distilleries as Union 52. Union 52 is a Corby's. And this, I'm quite certain, is a Highwood from Alberta. Same people, make, same people who make 90. They also make um, Canadian Rockies, and they make... Uh, Cen uh, Centennial Whiskey and Century Whiskey and all of those Canadian whiskeys. Canadian whiskey typically is a base of corn whiskey, 
and then it's uh, usually a rye whiskey for flavors and the rye on top rye that's blended with the corn is usually older and more complex and has been in the wood longer naturally than the uh, base corn but this one has wheat in it so it's three grains plus another 30 year old whiskey which could have been a blend of corn and rye already who knows well, it'll be interesting to give this one a try since, yeah, it's only available for a limited time, so I might as well do this as soon as possible so that if anyone sees this uh, video, they can decide to get it or not. I was, I'll tell you right now, underwhelmed by the first edition, which was a 95-year celebration of BC liquor stores. Oh, this has a nice, nice, nice aroma. A lot of sweetness. You can definitely, or I can definitely pick up the influence of the wheat on the nose already. And the rye complexity, yes, it's there. I think just going by the nose so far, you got the corn sweetness, you get the rye complexity and spiciness and you get the wheat to smooth it out this is a very interesting nose it's um, surprisingly intense for Canadian whiskey usually Canadian whiskey noses are not that intense unless they're bottled at you know 50% or 46% this is 45% so that's a big step up from the 40% I think the BC liquor stores have been listening to the reviews of the 95 uh, year uh, celebration edition. That came out, I think, last spring, something like that. And uh, going by the nose already, they seem to have um, listened to the critique of their first first iteration, their first edition. This one has no year celebration on it. It's just a limited uh, November the 4th um, uh, premium spirits release, um, release. And of course there are still a few hanging around in stores in different places. So if you're on the fence about getting this, well first I'm going to taste it, but I've nosed it so far. Your nose is quite promising. Also, within that nose, there's a lot of caramel and vanilla, and there's wood. There is definitely wood, but the wood is not overpowered or overpowering. The wood is more subtle, more fine. It seems to be that they did a good job with this one. It has some of the same characteristics of the Union 52, but it's more corny, more corn based. Um, 17 year old whiskey, so it's, uh, usually 17 year old Canadian whiskey is good. I haven't tasted a really bad one yet. There's some uh, I'm smelling fields of corn just sitting in the sun. A lot of corn, but the wheat gives it that gives it that that certain ah uh, smoothness you could say that just changes the flavor altogether. And yes, there is a rye component in there for complexity. So far, this nose is beautiful. It's creamy, too. Creamy in that it's... Uh, it just has a creamy nose, trust me. Beautiful nose, beautiful. Beautiful, complex, as, as much as Canadian whiskey can be complex. This is lovely. 
Yes, I'm convinced uh, the BC liquor stores have listened to their the criticisms of their first one, and I'm repeating myself, of course, but this is what's coming to mind. And they told their source, fix it, make it good. Caramel, vanilla, and then that, that, that wheat to smooth it out. There's something else. Maybe it's coming from the rye. It's like a, it's a bit of a pepper note and a bit of a like whole wheat bread. I don't know. Or is it a whole wheat and rye bread? There's a whole like it's it's like having a sandwich with one side of it being rye bread and the other side being, you know, whole wheat, which gives it an interesting character. Um, my mouth is a little dry because I had some uh, Alberta Springs 10-year-old, um, so I'm going to just... Ah, cool, clear water. Now... Oh, I love the nose on this. This is nice. Mm. Oh, yes. Yes, 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 yes. Let's have another immediately. Mmm. Mmm. Yes. I'm absolutely getting the complexity in this. It's creamy, smooth, dare I say smooth. There is some caramel. There is some... Um, vanilla, there's a bit of toffee, there is something, some sweetness, and um, an extra complexity from the rye naturally, but that rye complexity and that bite from the rye is tempered by, this, by the um, smoothing over effect of the wheat. I'm not getting any fruits at all. I'm just getting, you know, caramels and maybe a hint of milk chocolate and uh, all those delicious grain flavors of the wheat and the rye and the corn. They just come together. They marry beautifully. And the, the aging, I imagine that they aged this mostly in there's an ex-bourbon thing to it's not very dark so it's probably not first fill ex-bourbon casks although maybe it's a mixture of first fill and and um, refilled ex-bourbon casks but there is a there is a slight hint of sourness underneath that creamy, rich, almost custardy deliciousness of this whiskey. Whatever was missing on the first edition, the 95-year-old celebration bottle, is in this one. This is just maybe that 35-year-old whiskey has added something to it. It's given it an ec that extra that extra woodiness, but the woodiness is soft woodiness. So maybe the thirty-five year old whiskey was in a in a you know an older refill bourbon cask 
It's just nice. Yes. The person who messaged me about being on the fence about this, go out and get it. Don't be on that fence. You will not be disappointed by this whiskey. It is just, it is nice. It rivals the Union 52. But it's more buttery, smooth, and custardy. And um, on the aftertaste, there's a little bit of uh, almonds, marzipan. Oh man, this is quite an experience. I oh, to your very good health. I endorse this one all the way. Food quick. 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 Food quick.